Hey YouTube, it's Ambic Zero, and today I'm going to be showing you the very basics of Visual Basic. Now, I'm using Visual Basic 2008. 2010 is available, but I prefer uh, 2008 for more advanced reasons that most of you won't know at the time. So, download 2010 if you want, there won't be a difference right now. Uh, or 2008, I'll have a link uh, in the description for one of the two. And once you install it, you're going to get to this screen. I'm going to try and speed this up. Um, when you get to the screen, go to File, and New Project. Make sure you're on Windows Forms application, and let's name this YouTube Basics. Press OK and let it create the project. OK, let's go over what we see. In our Solution Explorer, we see all of the pieces of our project. This would include forms, code, resources, anything like that. <clears throat> okay, so what I want you to do is first click Form 1, and in the Properties box, you will see all the properties of Form 1 that you can change. Um, so let's say we want to call Form 1 uh, YouTube. Now, anytime we want to call Form 1 in the code, it's actually now YouTube. So I'll get to the code part in a little bit. Let's also look at changing the property of text. Text is one of the properties of Form 1 that we can change. So I'll type in, hello, YouTube. And you can see that the text of Form 1 has changed. Now, you can also change the back color, uh, background image, all that kind of stuff. Everything that can be a property can be changed. So, next let's move on to the toolbox. In here you will see a list of different tools uh, and components that can be added to your form to add functionality to your program. So I'm going to go with something basic like a button. Click the button and then click on the form. And here is button 1. Now this is already coded so that we can have uh, commands execute when the button is clicked. So let's change the property of the button. Uh, let's change text to change title. Now that doesn't do anything, that's just text. Now, now I'm going to show you the code part of Visual Basic. Double click your button. Here we get the uh, function of a button one click. So on event click, execute this code. Now the syntax for Visual Basic is to first write whatever you are going to call. So in this case, we want to call YouTube. Um, now, because we're on our own form, Visual Basic just wants us to write me to refer to itself. Excuse that. So write me. Now, the property of the thing that we called that we want to change. So we want to change me, dot, and text. Now, let's make text equal... Um, changed text and that is inside of quotations all strings or words need to be inside quotations once you've done that press the play button and that will compile our script for us so when I press change title that should change hello YouTube to change text which it did you've created your first quote-unquote program in Visual Basic so, to continue on what I was saying, take the thing you want to call and then change the property. So let's do button one dot back color equal, and it will give you a drop down box full of options. Let's go green. So when we click, click button one, button one dot back color, because if you look in the button, back color is right here. So this should change it to green, which it did. Now you know the basic syntax of Visual Basic Code. Take the object and then the property of the object you want to change. Later on we can get into math and other things like that. Let's go over another um, another few components before we end this video. So let's grab a text box. Now, this text box will allow the user to input text into a string. It's important to realize that a string is just 
words, as in you can type in a number in here, but the number won't have any value. It will be read as a word. So if you type in 35, it's not the value 35, it's the string 35. I hope that makes sense. So let's look at the text property for this. Hello. Now, if the user types in this box, that automatically changes the text value of this box. So let's click change title again. And right here where we have me.text, what we're actually going to change it to this time is now text box one dot text. So whatever is in text box one now becomes me dot text. So the value of this text box right now is hello. So it changed up here. Now if I write, if I change the value by typing in one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. In my next tutorial, we'll go over some slightly more advanced things. I'm going to try and build this up slowly. Uh, I'll probably go into uh, data types, or uh, you guys can suggest anything you want. If you want, we can just skip ahead and go complicated, or if you want me to start slow and work my way up, we can do that too. So please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.